This week, I'm in Twickenham, where there is a specific hosting on disability. I have a particular question to put forward to the candidates. In the past, I've been angry about the way disabled people are portrayed in some media and by some politicians. I haven't actually seen any real action and, and I'm quite a very disillusioned really. The austerity was uh, used for ideological reasons and how do you know that's true? You know that's true because look at the people that lost and whoever was in government would have had to do painful things. In a civilised society, you do your best to protect the most vulnerable people. For disabled people, what I am hearing and I sympathise with, Atos was a mistake and I'm glad that contract is gone. Frankly, I'm ashamed with the sixth richest economy in the world. We've treated our people accordingly in the name of austerity. The chairperson took questions from the floor. We took the opportunity to see if the candidates could set the record straight. David over here. Yes. What is your party doing to avoid vilifying people with disabilities who need benefits? Well, I've got nothing but contempt for people who treat people with disability as scrounders, and that we should make always make that absolutely clear. But I think if people who rely on benefits are, are treated uh, in a dignified way, as they should be, uh, you've got to have a proper system of assessment. Uh, I think as was acknowledged earlier. Uh, David's question touches on something. Some, a friend of mine uh, was telling me about, and I don't think she's in the room today, that she needed, or she does, require uh, disability benefits. But she, she was embarrassed about even telling me about those benefits. And what I'm saying is that it's not only politically that people need to walk tall, be proud, and not ashamed of having benefits, not only politically, but also culturally. We take the view that disability is a social construct and in fact it's society which disables people. Very often people are impeded not by their impairment, whatever that might be, but by the way the community treats them. The Green Party wants a broader concept of what is normal, to encompass able-bodied, less able-bodied people and a spectrum of people suffering various things or having chronic impairments. You can, um as I've mentioned on several occasions already, um, is supporting all of the people that have disabilities, providing money, stopping <coughs> these political parties trying to stigma um, disabled people. Um, it's been going on for years. Well, um, I think you're right. I think the disabled people are being vilified. Um, Labour would uh, have said that they would create a specific hate crime um, which relates to, to crime against, aggravated by uh, crime against, uh, on, by reason of disability. So that's something practical we would do. It seemed that this was a very passionate subject for debate. Well, it really feels as if there's an election on now. I'm looking forward to the campaign proper. Watch this space for my next report. <laughs>